Hey everyone, KO here. I just wanted to do a short introduction on this uh, video, noting beforehand that it is shorter. Uh, that the, well, the, the first couple episodes, few episodes, they're they're going to be shorter episodes. One, I didn't know how well the recording was going to go with the game. Uh, two, I didn't know that you just had to verify your account in order to get uh, over 15 minute long episodes. So I kept them at 10 minutes. Um, first few episodes I will upload probably two episodes per day and then once we get to the 30 minute long episodes well the 30 minute plus long episodes uh, those will be once a day until then I hope you guys enjoy this playthrough well what about Shepard she's a spacer lived aboard starships most of her life military service runs in the family both her parents were in the Navy. She proved herself during the Blitz, held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Howdy, everyone, and welcome to Underachieving in... Mass Effect. I'm your host, Ko. I'll try not to talk too much over the cutscenes, but I hope you enjoy this playthrough. Here we go. in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Hi, Nihilus. I hate that guy. <laughs> of course you do. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker. Speaking of. Status report. Hi, Captain. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. <laughs> I've always liked Captain's that line. always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> yeah, only you, Joker. And we're getting dragged, right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. 
Hey, Bressley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Oh, what you do you think mean? the Alliance brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? Why are you focusing on up. the Turian part? Mm hmm? I'll look into it. Don't, don't worry about it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Thank you. Hey, Doc, how you doing? Jenkins. What do you say, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Oh, you know you enjoy it. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Ah, you'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, man. <laughs> I'm not going to screw this up. Oh, oh, but you do. But Goodbye, you do. Later, Doc. Oh, Jenkins, we hardly knew ya. Sup, bestest buddy? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. All right, what, what about? about? I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I don't think I've ever been there. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Apparently. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? And why are Do you, you asking? Something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Ready for I think what? It's about time we told the Having a stealth ship? This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Duh! I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What are we picking What's up? What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. Beacons! It was Prothean. Why is it always a beacon? What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. That's a lot. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in What, action. are you hitting on me? He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity what wants a, a larger role in shaping human interstellar power. Tyrion. We want more say with the Citadel Council. Hmm? The Spectres represent the Council's oh. power and authority. Gotcha. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I'll stop writing you fan fiction in my enemy head. You assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Awesome. And our time is running to an end here, so I will see you on the next episode.
Thank you.